This video is going to talk about the CPX API for IOL and what I'm going to do is give a quick overview of the software that's related to configure and get your Festo devices or third-party devices up on the ports that are shown right here. So first thing you do is go to your Festo website. You want to download the software. It's called Festo iLink Tool. So you put your product in here, which is the API for IOL. You'll get this pop-up here. You click on Show Details. Then you come down to the Support Downloads area here. Click on Software. And the Festo iLink tool is the one that you were looking for right here. This version, 511.611, is a little bit old. Um, there is a newer one. 511.6308 is uh, the latest. And if you can't find that, like, I'm experiencing right now, then call your technical support for Festo and they'll provide you a copy. Um, the newer software just has some bug fixes and so on and so forth. So we've downloaded the software now and we've installed it on the system. And when we first start up the system, or the software I mean, it's likely that you'll encounter this firewall pop-up here. You need to accept this to allow access to your uh, your network and once you're past that then you're in this interface right here so first thing to understand is that there's a user guide and this right here is the user guide it's quite uh, quite a nice guide this will show you how to use the software if we go back to this view right here you have the ability to import your IODD files um, or firmware and we're going to be talking about the IDD files and so on and so forth. So the, uh, the simplest way people will manage the software is you want to get online to the Festo CPX 4IL and normally what the user will do is come over here click on search master and then the device will show up here. I have quite a bit of third-party software and so on and so forth on here, so there's a slight conflict with some things. So I need to add this manually, so I'm going to show you the alternative way. You come through here. In my case, I have a uh, Ethan IP. And before we go further, I'm just going to show the hardware that I have connected. So if I go to the web browser, I have already assigned an IP address to the Ethan IP master, which the CPX API-4 IOL is connected to. So when we go to that web server there, we'll see here that this is the Ethan IP module that we have here. The second device, which I have a fault on right now because I've purposely turned off power on devices that are connected. That's the CPX API for OIL. And uh, the default settings are that the ports are disabled, but uh, that's also in the user manual for the 4OIL. It shows you how to configure that. I'm not gonna go through that on this video, uh, but uh, any device you wanna connect, you wanna kind of come into here and configure it, and um, the settings will be saved. And then the uh, have the ability to do backup restore as well, and so on and so forth. So it's all in the user manual. So going back to what I have here, so we're going to be connecting with the Festo IOLink tool through this master, which could be an Ethernet IP, could be a Profinet, or whatever. And it's going to get to the 4OIL in order to configure it. So in my case, I have the EPA. So I'm going to add this, drag it up. So I clicked and dragged it. And then over here, I'm going to click on, you would type in the address. In my case, I've already done this before. So it's coming up automatically. And then I hit OK. It says it's found. And at that point, we can see we have a couple settings here. Nothing important. And at this point, we want to go online. So now I'm actually connected to the device. I have the green communication status here 
And at this point, if I want to do a scan of my devices, I would come over here, check devices. And this tells me that I have these two devices right here. If I connect another device, so I'm going to connect on the third port right now. I'm going to connect a SPAU um, exit. Do it again. Now I have an SPAU, um, and I can continue to add devices and. The IOLink device right here, if it's coming up and there's no devices, this is when you would come into here and you would do a import of whatever the devices is. And this is quite simple. You know, you've, you've downloaded the IODD file from the internet and you come through here, you select where that path is and then the device will show here. You add the checkbox and then you say import. Okay, I've, I've done that for everything, okay? So again, we come back into here. I have all the devices. It tells you, if you do hover over the question mark, what the colors mean. Um, it's showing you that you can, you can do anything. So I'm gonna say, take over everything. And now it's added these devices. So now I wanna modify a parameter and so on and so forth. Uh, maybe. I, all you have to do is double click the device and it opens up another window and I can double click again on the SPAU and now I have a couple windows open okay so now we have the process data I link all the typical tabs you would basically do an upload it syncs everything and we know that we have everything in, in order. The, uh, the D means to synchronize with the device. There's an observation parameter tab, diagnosis, scope, and so on and so forth, and firmware updates, and IODD. This is where you're getting into the raw data. You could uh, Uh, the generic tab you can send parameter requests and uh, it's this is the interface that you would configure to do everything with close that it's the same interface for all upload if you want to make a download or modify something, um, let's say we want to change from bar to PSI. You see here it says change is edited and then you do a block write or you can do a download to the device and then it should say that you're, you're synced again. And that's about it. That's the gist or the short version of how to use the Festo Oil Link tool.